Did you know that over 17% of the greenhouse gas emissions that are emitted today are from the transportation sector that uses fossil fuels? Transportation has allowed you and me to get here to the Burnaby Mountain today. You wouldn't have liked walking all the way up here. We cannot imagine our lives without transportation. The high emissions, however, have created an urgent need for low impact energy sources to secure the supply of the sector. Exciting news is that hydrogen is being recognized as one of the most commercially viable and promising fuels since it emits zero emissions when burned. The use of hydrogen, however, is not that easy. One of the challenges of storing and transporting hydrogen is that the little molecules of the gas love staying apart, occupying large volumes and making compression, a process that forces the molecules to come together, a very energy intensive process. Expensive compressors have, at refueling stations have to do so much work that they break down frequently, causing the station to be shut down for days. Imagine all that effort to fix these compressors every few weeks. What's even worse is that all that work produces enormous amount of heat that needs to be managed by cooling systems on site, increasing the amount of energy required at these refueling stations. This is where my research comes in. As you can see in my slide, I'm building a gas transfer system that pumps in an, an ionic liquid to compress and transfer the gas from one tank to another. You must be wondering why use an ionic liquid? Why not just use water? Well, ionic liquids do not vaporize easily. And unlike water, they will not mix with the hydrogen gas. What's even better is that these liquids can absorb all that heat that is produced during compression, reducing the cooling requirements of the station. Calculations have proven that this system can allow up to 45% energy savings in compression compared to the current configurations in refueling stations. Thus, my work would reduce the final cost of hydrogen and increase the efficiency and reliability of hydrogen storage and transportation. In this way, I hope to become an integral part of building the low carbon future we want to live in and leave behind for our future generations. Thank you.